Hi, and welcome back to History Run with Natalie. Um, today we're going to be talking about the causes of World War One, and we have a lot, so let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to start with the alliance system, and that's our first one. France hates Germany because in 1871, Germany seized Alsace-Lorraine from France after winning the Franco-Prussian War, which is a big piece of land. And since then, France has built a massive line of fortifications along her German border in order to keep them out. And to protect herself, Germany has formed an alliance with Austrian Russia, which is the Dreich. Gazerbund or the Three Emperors League and Germany and Austria also have an alliance with Italy which is called the Triple Alliance. Okay, so our second cause is the fight over the Balkans. So in 1890 Austria and Russia, Russia are arguing over who um, should control the Balkan state and the Balkans is the name given to the area of Europe bordering Turkey. Um, I'll place a map up here. And Turkey has ruled the Balkans for centuries, um, but is now too weak to hold on to them. And the argument between Austria and Russia about who should control the Balkans means that the Dry Kaiserbund is falling apart. Okay, so for our third cause, we have the arms race. And this is when the Kaiser rejected uh, the Russians and instead strengthened his ties with Austria and Italy, which is known as the Triple Alliance. And in response, uh, Russia quickly formed an alliance with France in 1894. And this scared Germany because it means that both his enemies are in the west and the east of him. So I'll also put a map of that. And the idea of a war on two fronts for the Kaiser is very scary, as he has both people coming at him at one time. Okay, so in the previous one, we talked about the arms race, and now we're going to talk about the naval race. And so the Kaiser of Germany felt that Britain was the only major country in Europe without an alliance, so he could demand a high price for his friendship. Also, he said that if Britain signed an alliance with Germany, she would also have to sign an alliance with Italy and Austria too. And Britain rejected these terms and instead reached the Entente Cordiale, uh, which was with France in 1904, and this alarmed Germany because France was now an ally with both Britain, who Germany wanted to be an ally with, and now Russia, who um, Germany broke off their alliance with. Okay, so now we have war plans, and it is now 1905, and France has formed an alliance with both um, Russia and Britain, and Germany has alliances with Italy and Austria, which is the um, triple alliance, and but it's starting to feel encircled, and so Germany draws up war plans to deal with the possible war on two fronts, which we mentioned before, and um, she bears in mind that the Russian army is much larger than the French. Uh, France has fortified a number of cities along the German border for protection. The Russian army will take three times as long to mobilize as the French, and Belgium has had an alliance with Britain since the 1830s. So with the Kaiser being um, concerned with the war on two fronts, he decides to create his Schieffelin plan, and um, this was created in 1905, and his plan was to um, attack France through Belgium. So he would go through Belgium, attack France, beat them, and then go beat Russia as well. So with um, one of the alliances we talked about before, which was the Entente um, Cordiale, which was their friendly understanding between France and Britain, um, it was decided that Britain could take control of Egypt if they wanted to, and France could take control of Morocco. So when 1905 hit, um, France demanded that the Sultan, um, which is just the king, of Morocco um, hand over control of his army to France. So some um, problems arose from the Morocco 1905. Um, the Kaiser of Germany um, went to Morocco and uh, delivered a speech where he said he would help the king um, defeat France and defend uh, Morocco and remain his. And um, so this led Britain to persuade France not to declare war on Germany and instead organized the Algecras Conference, which happened in 1906. Um, to discuss the issue between them. All that happened at this conference was Germany felt humiliated. Germany was protesting and everyone just ignored it. So after the conference that was held, there was a lot of uh, tension between Britain and Germany. And in 1906, this caused Britain to launch a new battleship, which was called the Dreadnought. And um, they were spending millions of dollars to try to stay in the naval race, which is what we talked about before. The British people resented having to pay heavy um, taxes to stay in the naval race, and this created tension towards Germany from the people of Britain. In 1907, Britain decided to sign an alliance with both Russia and France, and this was creating the Triple Entente. Okay, so now we're going to go into um, the Bosnian crisis. So in 1908, Austria seizes control of Bosnia, which is a key Balkan state, and so Russia is worried that the Triple Entente, which Russia is a part of, and Austria is a part of the Triple Alliance, um, the alliances will start to butt heads. So with all this tension over the Balkans, uh, the Kaiser of Germany decides to give the blank check to Austria, which is promising them Germany's full support. The Balkan War saw Serbia double 
in their size. Austria was determined to crush Serbia. Um, they're too strong, they're too big. However, Russia was determined that Serbia is state offended and in February 1914, the Tsar of Russia said, for Serbia, we shall do everything. So this caused a lot of tension between Austria and Russia. On June 28th, 1914, Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated in Bosnia by a Serbian terrorist group called the Black Hand. And Austria snaps control of Bosnia from under the nose of Serbia in 1908. And since then, Austria and Serbia had very bad relations. Like we talked about before, Russia was trying to defend them. Austria was trying to gain control. And so uh, the Serbian terror group wanted to get back at Austria. Okay, so our last and final cause is war is declared. So Germany declared on Russia on the 1st of August. And the Kaiser um, did not want to declare war on France as well. But as General Soldemy had no choice because France was an ally of Russia. And it would create the war on two fronts. So on the 3rd of August, the Kaiser Wilhelm of Germany declared war on France and Britain immediately uh, promised to defend Belgium. This Germany marched into Belgium as a part of the Schlieffen Plan which we talked about earlier and on the 4th of August um, Britain declared war on Germany and World War One had begun. Thank you for watching History Rewind Vlogs this week and I'd like to give a thank you to Active History as um, a lot of this information came from their game where you can be uh, the Kaiser of Germany and decide what to do um, and it gives you the cause of World War One. so if you want to go check that out, go right ahead.